Hi, and welcome back to Security Week. Uh, another round of exciting announcements here. My name is Noelle Kagan. I'm a product leader at Cloudflare in our CF1 data security suite. Today, we are going to be talking about some very exciting new data security features and that we're excited to announce for our Cloudflare One users. And so uh, I'm gonna work with my friend, Alex here. Alex, can you uh, take the mic and start introducing and talking about some of these features we have to talk about? Of course, thanks, Noel. And, and, and hello to everyone and happy Security Week. My name is Alex Dunbrack. I'm a senior product manager in uh, our Cloudflare One data security suite of products. And like Noel mentioned, I'm really excited today to be here to share a, a, a new realm of, of product availability from our CASB product specifically. Uh, for those that, that maybe uh, know or don't know our CASB product in Cloudflare One, this product scans SaaS applications and now cloud vendors for a, a range of security issues, ranging from posture management problems all the way to DLP matches. And today we're announcing our, our first support for our cloud vendors. This is both Amazon Web Services and Google Cloud Platform to start. And we're excited to dive into some of the details about uh, what these features include. Just to kick it off a little bit in terms of availability of these features, just to say it at the start, uh, this is available to all users of Cloudflare One. Uh, the Casby product has some free availability of its services. And so we're welcoming everyone to try out uh, these integrations if they'd like to see how it works. But Honestly, these new features that we'll be talking about are really just a natural progression of the CASB product historically, and really all just based on what we've heard from our customers over time, which has been uh, very interesting for us. That's awesome. Uh, really excited to hear that, Alex. I'm sort of curious, right? You said previously we worked in the, the SaaS realm, but now we're sort of moving over to the cloud realm. What exactly does it do in the cloud realm? I'm just curious to hear more. Yeah, yeah. So so maybe it'd be even most helpful to start with what is Cloudflare One as the platform. And, and for those that don't know, Cloudflare One is Cloudflare SASE, a platform really built for enterprise security and IT teams that are trying to get a handle on how their employees use the internet, how they access their applications, and even further than that, how they manage the, the tools that everyone uses all day, every single day. And so that's what really what Cloudflare One is. It's a suite of products, and, and one of those products is the CASB product. And actually, I should mention our DLP, Data Loss Prevention product as well. CASB stands for a Cloud Access Security Broker. And at Cloudflare, it started as, as a SaaS-specific security tool where our customers would integrate their SaaS apps from Google Workspace and Microsoft 365, Dropbox, Box, Slack, GitHub, you name it. And we'd be able to scan that for them, looking for misconfigurations, security practices not being best followed. And we'd surface that information to their uh, administrators in Cloudflare One going, hey, you've got these problems in your SaaS apps. Maybe you didn't know about these things and maybe they're worth going to, to look into and maybe even triage as well. So we got our start there as a product line and maybe some of, of our listeners will, will know that too. And then listening to our customers and understanding kind of where the breadth of the security issues they cared about went. DLP, data security, sensitive data itself and where that lives. And we understood, you know, in, in Google Drive, OneDrive, SharePoint, so on, there's obviously a lot of data that gets stored in, in those apps that can range from intellectual property to customer data. And there's, there's this big demand for security operators to understand exactly what that data looks like in their SaaS apps, in their third-party tools, right? And so as time goes on and as we release these new features and our customers are really enjoying to use them, a lot of aha moments on things that they didn't know were going on in their accounts, they kept mentioning their cloud vendors too, right? Their AWSs and their GCPs. And we started to understand a little bit more. These are just one more integration, one more vendor that they want that coverage for just as much as Google Workspace and Microsoft 365. There are cloud storage buckets in these cloud services and they want to be able to understand in our cloud objects, are there social security numbers? Are there credit card numbers? Are there other things in the mix there? So when we started to understand that that's really what our customers wanted to see next, I think that's where we hit the ground running into building support for, for AWS and GCP. But, you know, Noel, with you here too, and you're, you're part of this uh, data security function in Cloudflare One, I'd love to get your take even specifically on just the data at rest versus inline DLP how that, that world works and, and kind of where those two pieces at minimum play into uh, our, our suite of offerings. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's a great question. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of steal an analogy here from Grant, our CISO, who likes to draw a lot of analogies between sort of security and, and health. And, you know, like, oh, I'll go to the doctor and the doctor will 
run a test to see if I'm healthy and, and you know, it'll turn out I'm healthy today. And that doesn't necessarily mean I'm healthy tomorrow. And security, especially in the data world, can feel just like that of maybe I run one test and I get visibility in this place to see if I'm healthy, but that doesn't make me feel like, okay, I'm comprehensively healthy. I know everything all the time and I can always check in. Um, but that's what everyone's looking for in the data security world is I want a good picture of my health all the time with all of the visibility. And if I just look at it in line or I just look at, at it going outbound email or if I just look at rest, then I'm only getting a little piece of that story. And I can't necessarily go home every night and say I'm fully healthy. I have nothing to worry about. Um, and so really being able to put all of those pieces together and get a whole picture of this is where my data at rest lives. These are the users who access it. This is where the data goes. And this is where it's allowed to go. Um, and this is the people who do interact with it every day. And being able to tell and see that story is of tremendous value. And, you know, everyone wants to know their health. So it's it's something that we really want to deliver for our customers. I totally agree. And, and you know, you and I have worked together for quite a while now. And you know how excited I am. And I know you are, too, to to our roadmap and how how we as a platform really address that comprehensive nature of data security, where it doesn't just end, you know, past that HTTP request and past when someone uploads a file into Google Drive, or in this case, maybe an S3 bucket, right? It's that full picture. I, I totally agree. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I think it's a story we're both very passionate about. I'm kind of diving more very sort of specifically into this functionality. Uh, could you kind of walk me through, like, how does this work for the customer? Yeah, absolutely. So for those that that have known and used our CASB product over the past couple of years, this is a great extension of our current offerings. And a lot of these terms and, and workflows to getting started are no different, which is really the great, the great part of all of this because uh, our product has been known as very, very easy to get started and getting value out of it right away, knowing what those security issues are. And so no different for our cloud vendors that we're supporting uh, today between AWS and GCP. The initial integration comprises of working to essentially get a service account into both of these vendors. And then with just a few button clicks, honestly, granting us that permission to scan the metadata on those buckets, we're already going to be able to pull what we call posture findings today. And so those are the, the configuration security issues. Do you have buckets that are publicly accessible that have lifecycle version and, and versioning disabled, access logging, all of those kinds of things? are very important for the, the data security story, right? Because if that bucket is publicly accessible and the objects are too, it doesn't really matter if there's that social security number in an object in the first place, anyone can get it. That's really the first stop are those posture findings. But what's new with these cloud vendors and looking at S3 buckets and, and Google Cloud uh, storage buckets as well, is this notion, and, and those that have worked with cloud vendors in the past, you understand the difference between your SaaS apps and your cloud vendors when it comes to the configurability of, of the cloud vendors and, and all the services that they contain. And with that configurability comes this next element of how do we set up the scanning infrastructure for these cloud accounts? And so for these cloud integrations, AWS and GCP, there's this new notion of what we call the compute account. And there's some great benefits that come with this. And so ultimately what we mean by this compute account is that we have our, our customers and users as part of their integration setup deploy the, the executable part of their integration into their own cloud vendor so that when we are scanning their objects and, and we're running all of those DLP checks, that's actually taking place in, in our customers' accounts and it's not even coming to Cloudflare. So from a data privacy perspective in the first place, that data never leaves your environment, which is this, this great value proposition that uh, we're able to offer for our cloud uh, integrations here. And then one more step too that, that this enables is even more granular configuration around how you want to scan your cloud storage objects. So unlike our SaaS uh, integrations with cloud, you're able to configure what is the uh, sampling percentage of the objects you want to look at in that bucket. In the case where maybe there are some customers of ours that have millions of objects in a bucket versus some that maybe uh, they have objects on the order of a couple thousand at most. There is a big difference in what they want to scan and what they're looking for between those two uh, two amounts. So one of our scan configurations that we we offer right off the bat here is that sampling rate, and, and we're excited for that too. And honestly, the best part of this is, are, are the results uh, that come from these kinds of scans. Um, I definitely encourage you today, we, we uh, shared a blog post about this functionality. 
check out that blog post. It shows some screenshots of what this all looks like and how it works. But those results that I'm talking about, we provide a very easy to understand dashboard caller content findings. And what this looks like is essentially a long list of all of those objects that have matched the criteria that's been set up in your scan configuration. So if you're looking for social security numbers or you're looking for credit card numbers, we show you the full list of the objects in those buckets that have matched that criteria. And we're gonna show you all of the metadata that we're pulling down on, on it. What is the bucket that it's in? When was it created? Who created that bucket and the object? All the access details, the permissions, the profiles that was matched against it for DLP. And so that's when I mentioned that aha moment a few minutes ago, that's where we see with our customers when they integrate this, you know, in 10 to 15 minutes and they start seeing results, they go, oh my gosh, had no idea that that was shared that way or that had that information in it. And that that's, you know, for better or for worse, the part of our job where we're just happy that we're able to shine a light on those kinds of things. Yeah, that's amazing. It's It's got to have been exciting to to build on it and build the story. I'm I know it's been a long time coming for our platform. Um, and I know this is going to be a common question from lots of our customers um, and those who know how well we like to innovate. Uh, what do you think is next? Well, it all stems from talking with our users and customers. I, I think that's a, a huge theme at Cloudflare. Uh, you know that yourself uh, from all your conversations too. And so from listening, listening to our customers and the feedback specifically on this functionality too, I definitely think that there's there's a roadmap here in terms of additional support, more information that we can surface, other deployment methods. Uh, we're, we're really open-minded to all those paths forward, but I think we're just interested in the first place, at least to understand what does that SaaS versus cloud split look like and, and how, do our, how do our customers see that parallel between I care about data in, a, in, a, in Google Drive just as much as a GCP bucket in OneDrive just as much as S Store or eventually, you know, Azure Blob Storage and the like. And we'll be listening super closely to that. Um, I think one other area of, of definite interest for us that we'll see uh, a mature, hopefully in the not too distant future, is expanding this all beyond even just the visibility, which is incredibly valuable to our customers, but looking for ways that we can at least provide next steps on, sure, you've now identified those problems, what do I do next? In some cases, we love to provide that functionality straight from our dashboard too. So I know that we'll be in close coordination with our customers and users to understand uh, they're looking for in that realm too. So super excited about the path ahead. Very excited about this functionality and the, the value provides CISOs and the other security operators out there. So uh, very pumped. Awesome. That is really, really exciting. Thank you so much for joining me today and talking about all of this. Very excited what the team comes up with next. Really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks so much, Noel. Thanks, everyone.